Hi everyone, it's Kate from Foldline. I am back this week with the edit. This is our weekly roundup of new sewing pattern releases. Now, last week I said that I had to move a couple of patterns over because there were so many and basically there have been even more. So this is going to be a bit of a bumper one. So get a cup of tea, get yourself comfortable. Right, so first we're gonna start with a new sewing pattern designer that we've got on the site, which we're really excited about. They're called Madswick. If you haven't come across them, they are definitely worth having a look at. So they've got about six patterns. And basically, I just want to talk to you about the one that I'm obsessed with. Um, the Raider blouse, have you seen it? Are you dribbling about it as much as I am? So I should actually start with a bit of in. So they're all PDF patterns. They come in sizes UK six to 30. The patterns vary very slightly in sizing per pattern. So it's either sort of 26 or 28 to 30, but pretty much around that. Um, right, let's move on to the raid blouse because it's so, it's so delicious. Um, right, things that I uh, love about it. Let's show you the line drawing. So there are three different variations that you can make with it. You can either have it with a button down the front, it's got this lovely seam that runs like this with a ruffle coming out, in, coming out, inserted. Um, so view A has got buttons down the front, little grandad collar. All of them have this really gorgeous detail on the sleeve. I'm, obs I'm obsessed with it. This little pin, three lines of pin tucks, which gather into the cuff. Um, then there is the second variation where the closure is moved from the front to the back, so the buttons go down the back. The third variation is so gorgeous, it has a sort of gathered yoke panel across the front, which is so beautiful and amazing. I'm really sorry if it's gone really bright, the sun has just kind of got out of the clouds and it feels like it's blinding me, so I really hope that I don't, I don't look like a ghost and everything's gone white. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just so beautiful. So things that I love about it as well, I really love, because I don't know if you, I've noticed like nerdy little details like this. Um, it's got a really nice deep hem on it and that makes a garment to me feel really expensive instantly when you don't have to worry about how much fabric you have. You can just have a very like luxurious hem. Um, yeah, I love the sleeves. I just, I think this, I think this shirt is just gorgeous. So if you haven't seen it, then you must go and have a look at it because it's so delicious. There is also a second pattern, which is the Raider Dress variant of this. Um, it's, it comes as a separate pattern. There are um, three different types of dresses as well. So it's got a similar feel, but it's been extended. There are different things that you can do with a skirt. One has got kind of a gathered waist. One has got um, where it's cut straight. And then the third one has got this kind of um, panel of gathering, kind of a layer of gathering gathering a ruched panel around them what am i saying you know what i mean a gathered panel at the bottom but yeah just i mean i just really love these then they've got a really lovely pair of overalls which if you haven't seen they're kind of like a dungaree um they also come in a trouser variation all the things that you'd expect from a classic pair of dungarees little bib front with a pocket um there is a really, there are lots of nice little things that you can do to change it. So I like that you have an option to either have the straps that go straight over. There's an option where you can cross them over at the back as well. And there's also a variation where you add a little ruche to the, um, to the straps, which I think is so cute and I love it. So then they've got um, a pattern, which is a skirt pattern, which they have for an, available for an adult and a child. So it's the same shape, just obviously mini versions. Um, again, it's got this gorgeous detail that is in the, the sleeve of the blouse. Um, these kind of um, layers of little pin tucks, um, which is gorgeous. And I really like this in a skirt because it's got loads of details. You can see if I show you the pictures, there's little pin tucks and there's bigger ones at the bottom. There's gathering as well. So there's actually quite a lot going on. There's loads of detail in the skirt, but I think it makes it look really expensive and interesting. And I think also you'd learn loads while you make it. So that is it. Oh yeah, that is it. I thought I had one more. No, that is it from them. So definitely worth going and having a look at it. 
Um, next up, we have got two new patterns from Matchy Matchy Sewing Club, which is really exciting because I love their patterns. Um, they're PDF only, um, they come in sizes UK 6 to 38. So the first one is called the Collage Gather Dress. Um, this is, again, if you haven't come across them before, quite all of their patterns have lots of different seam lines, which means that you can use fabrics um, so that you can sort of colour block. I think their samples are beautiful. They make them really interesting samples and make you think about how you could use your fabric in different ways. So it's actually a very simple dress as well. So you can see it's got this panel down the front. It's got a line of gathering, which kind of goes around and underneath the um, armhole. And it's basically just a nice loosey goosey. You can make it in lots of different lengths, kind of altering it depending on how you'd like to wear it. Um, but yeah, so that's the first one. Then the second one is the skipper top and dress, which is really sweet actually. So. Let's have a look at the line drawing because there's different variations for this. So view A, view B and view C. It's that you can see that they're, they're changing the seam lines and having them in different places. There's a little bit of gathering on view A at the back of the top. View B is slightly longer and they've got gathering at the front and the back and then they, these sort of patch pockets which are caught into the seam. And then the dress ver version, which is obviously longer and it's got little slits at the side. So there's quite a lot of going on here. And again, you can use different types of fabric so you can color block. It's perfect if you've got some kind of leftover, you know, we always save those beautiful bits of fabric that we can't bear to get rid of and then never end up using. I feel like this company is like completely set for you getting rid of some of those beautiful bits from your kind of too precious to throw away bit of your stash and we come on we all have those bits so those that's from them we've got a new pattern from itch to stitch it's the called the nazara skirt this comes in sizes uk um six to 36 they have different itch to stitch patterns always have different bust cut options so they've got a b c d and double d for sizes 00 to 20 and then sizes 22 to 40 have B, C, D and double D cups. Oh, that was hard to say. So if you are looking for a blouse, because I know if you are bigger busted finding or smaller busted, finding blouses that look really nice, it can be really tricky actually. So they're definitely worth and all her patterns have bust cup options. So go and have a look. It's a really simple blouse. I really like, it's got little like grown on sleeves, buttons down the front, proper like stand collar, um, patch pocket on the front, nice little two dark details on the back yoke, which I think is really nice and adds a bit, but it's kind of like quite, it's kind of loose fitting, not too loose fitting. It's kind of a really, I think it's a sort of quite a useful item for your wardrobe. So if you're looking for a blouse pattern, it's definitely worth having a look at. And I really like that the C, um, the hem on the back is slightly longer at the back than the front. I think, I think that's a really nice feature. So definitely worth going and having a look at. So now I have got a load of new patterns from Barra Studio, um, which is really exciting. So all of their patterns are PDF only. They're available in sizes UK 8 to 20. And they've got one, two, three, four, six, so seven new patterns, which is amazing, especially for a small company to bring out that many is really exciting. So they've got a pair, let's start with the trousers. They've got a pair of flared pants. These are so on trend everywhere in the high street. And it's really nice actually that we have now got a sewing pattern for this look, because it's something that I think lots of people would like to make. They are, they're, they're knit trousers obviously because of the stretch but they're so 90s and very much on trend. So they're definitely worth having a look at. Then to wear with it, which I thought was really nice, the Ina top, um, obviously you don't have to, but they would look, it would look really nice together. And there's quite a lot of variations with this. So you can either make it with a polo neck, or, well, sorry, it's a polo neck. You can either make it cropped long, you can change all the sleeve lengths as well. You can have it long sleeved, cropped, long sleeved, kind of a longer bodice. So there's quite a bit of, you know, give and take with a really nice kind of basic staple. Then we've got the Amelia dress, which I am really obsessed with. I think it's gorgeous. So it's your classic summer dress, 
but it's just got nice detail so it's not too fitted um but it's also not enormous which i like um so let's have a look at the line drawing and we can see what is going on it's got a square neckline um little tie um straps then there is a, a dart at the bust and then you can pick between two options you can either have one panel of gathering or you can have two and I, th I, I prefer the slightly longer one. I think the big bow ties at the top, I think look really nice. And I especially love how the, the fabric they've made it in that cream. It looks really kind of French and summer and lovely. So that is worth having a look at if you want a summer dress. Got another dress from them, which is another good one. So this one feels quite sort of 1940s. I really like it. So if we have a look at the line drawing, you can see it's got princess seams at the front, princess seams at the back, button down, v-neck, that beautiful kind of flared sleeve. There's an option, there's a little tie which you can have tied at the back or you can have it tied around the front. But this would be perfect to wear to a wedding. And again, there are two different um, length options for this. So you can make it midi or you can have it short depending on how you'd like to wear it. Then we have got a, I'm going to speed up a little bit because I feel like I'm going on for too long. We've got a sports bra and a pair of leggings. So the sports bra is called the Leah sports bra and then the leggings are called the Nora leggings. Um, the leggings are quite a simple pair. They've got this, they've got quite a nice seam detail I thought around the back. They've got a nice big waistband so they, they come up kind of right on your waist. Um, the sports bra is got all it's kind of a racer back, you can see, which I really like in a sports bra. It's also kind of got princess seams as well, so you can get the fit really good on it. And then last but not least is the Romy top, which I really love. I think it's gorgeous. It's a kind of very simple pattern, but it's got a really nice detail. So I'll show you the line drawing so you can see what's going on. So it's basically a jersey top, quite simple in terms of its construction. The interesting detail is it's got these um sewn channels that go up the side which you ruche up and the key with this pattern will be finding the right weight jersey to make it in you need to make it in a really fine lightweight jersey to make it look kind of elegant because it could if you made it something thicker it could look awful and really chunky and you're ending up with huge swathes of fabric around your front so find something really lightweight jersey and then it will look amazing so that is it from me this week. I hope that was good and gave you something kind of, I know I've just bombarded you with about a thousand patterns, but there will be links down below to everything so you can have a bit of a look and we will be back soon with another video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.